Hey guys, remember that ginger and turmeric I planted in containers this summer? Well guys, can you believe it? I'm already harvesting it. Let's get started today guys. We're harvesting ginger and turmeric from our containers. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna use my wheelbarrow. What I'm gonna do is dump the bags one at a time. I think I'm gonna do the ginger first. The other two are turmeric. Um, so let's do the ginger first. I already harvested some turmeric um a couple months ago i still have turmeric in the fridge but what i plan on doing with this is i plan on um, dehydrating it and powdering it so i can have it you know forever you know as um, turmeric powder so let's do the ginger first what i plan on doing with the ginger depending on how much it is i use ginger and turmeric every single morning in my sh in my shake or every morning that i have a shake i don't have shakes every single morning but when i do have shakes I always put um, ginger and turmeric in it. Tons of benefits um, for for each of them. So, oh. all right. So let's get started. I'm really hoping that we have a good harvest. Really hoping that we have a good harvest. Oh. All right, so we we'll turn it sideways. Ooh wee! I am seeing ginger. I am seeing ginger. Ooh wee! This looks like it's gonna be a big one. Ooh, this is gonna be a big one. All right, all right. Let me turn, turn this over. Let me turn this over, and I'm gonna turn it over into the wheelbarrow, and let's see how it looks. Let's see how much ginger we have. I'm excited. I am excited. Wow, guys. Oh, my goodness. This looks like some serious ginger in here. This is some serious ginger. I think I'm going to take the whole thing out. Oh, all right. Let's see what we find in here. This is just the bottom dirt. Let's get rid of all this. Man, guys, it was dry. Look at that. Oh, geez. Looks like it wasn't getting any water. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to put a drip irrigation on some of these things. Some of these um, larger bags. Because they're just not getting enough water from the rain. And the sprinkler doesn't seem to be hitting them. But things are going to change next year. I'm going to have a lot more time to get out here. Alright. So I think we have a piece here. Ooh, yeah. See those little knobs? See those little knobs? So let's turn this one over. Ooh. Yes, yes. Let's turn this one over. Let's see what we can find. So here's a piece here. All right. Here's one piece of ginger. Nice piece of ginger right here. Stick that over here. All right, so despite me not watering enough, we still have ginger. And this is just a little bit. There's lots more under here, I'm sure, based on what I've, I was feeling. Let's see what this is. Ah, guys, ooh, wee. This one feels big. All right, let's break it up in pieces. Yep, that's some good ginger, guys. That is some good ginger. And here are some more. Here is some more, guys. You guys watched me just a few months ago planting ginger knobs. And guys, look at all this ginger. Look at all this ginger that came out of those few knobs. And there's more. 
And there's more. Ooh, this is a lot. Hold on. This feels like a big piece. Sorry, guys, I'm doing this with one hand. Holding the phone with one hand. So you can see this is where the original piece was. You see it? This is the original dried up piece. And all this is fresh, new ginger. So I'm glad I harvested this. Even though it hasn't been a long time, I have some nice, young, fresh ginger. Whew. And there's more. There's more. All right, so this is what we have for the ginger. Let me clean it up and show you. All right. Looking good. And there it is, all cleaned up. I removed all the roots. And guys, did you know that the leaves are edible? The leaves taste just like ginger, a little bit milder. It doesn't have that burn that the actual ginger taste. I mean, it has. So you can actually dice up the leaves and use it as teas. It's really good as a tea or if you want to just make it in a stir fry. But the leaves are a little bit coarse. So if you put it in a stir fry, I would um, remove the leaves after. But guys, there is my ginger. And you can tell the pieces that were the original pieces. See, like that piece is a little bit darker. So I, I can actually probably just replant this piece here. This little piece here. But all this is fresh ginger. I'm going to be making some delicious drinks. Um, I have some passion fruit that I'm going to harvest and show you how I make my passion fruit drink. But that will be a different um, video. Let's, let's start on the turmeric now. Alright, so let's start on the first turmeric bag. Oh. Alright, I see some turmeric peeking out. See some peeking out all right guys so I just looked on my cell phone to see when I heart when I planted these in the grow bags I planted them six months ago so turmeric and ginger normally take anywhere from eight to ten months so they would have probably gotten bigger if I had waited a little bit longer but as I said we're starting into the winter now and I'd really don't want to this to die back I can always plant more maybe in a month or two I'll plant more after the freeze is over here's the first piece of turmeric all right guys we have some turmeric hold on all right guys look look at that that is a nice piece of turmeric and you can see the little this little rotten knob this is a piece that was planted and here is a new turmeric that we got so even though it's only six months, guys, this is very good usable turmeric. So I'm going to put the turmeric in this corner while I continue harvesting. All right. See another piece here. Mm. Ooh. This looks like it's a big piece. Get rid of all this dirt. Ooh, guys, look at that. Look at that, guys. This is a nice piece of turmeric. And again, here's a little knob. That, so from what this one little piece, we got all this turmeric, guys, in just six months. It's another turmeric. All right, so I'm gonna wash it all up and let you see it. Let's see what else we can find. I'm gonna put these on the ground. I don't wanna lose them in all the soil. Guys, you should go back and look at that video I did. Turmeric is super easy to grow. Very easy to grow. All I did was plant little pieces of turmeric that I bought in the store. This is actually Jamaican turmeric. So the store that I buy my turmeric um, from, they get it from Jamaica. So this is good organic turmeric that I got from Jamaica. And from originally from Jamaica but I bought it in the store here all right let's see what else we can find hmm again very dry sand very dry sandy looks like it wasn't getting looks like it wasn't getting much water 
turmeric and ginger don't need a lot of water but they do need nutritious nutritious soil i did plant them in good soil but not much fertilizing happened after that i think that's it for this bag let's go check the last bag and then i'll wash it off and show you what we got you can see a lot of little turmeric roots are forming here but they didn't have enough time and probably does i probably stick these back in the ground these will these will continue growing Guys, I took off my jacket and I didn't realize my microphone was on my jacket, so my microphone was off. So guys, I just want to show you real quick. This is the ginger we got from the first bag. Some nice, fat, beautiful pieces of ginger, guys. We're going to go ahead and um, harvest the second pot now and compare and see what they look like. N not sure if I mentioned to you that um, both the ginger and turmeric leaves are edible. Um, it's not that's a, the, not just the uh, roots but the turmeric leaves are also edible just like the ginger leaves all right so this pot looks like it has some nice pieces of ginger also let's um our turmeric also let's just go through and compare this first pot to the second pot wow not bad not bad at all guys look at this all this beautiful healthy fat ginger guys all this planted just six months ago from a couple of knobs in a pot in a grow bag and look at all this turmeric this is the turmeric from the first bag you know all those little pieces and guys nice healthy turmeric and guys the turmeric from the second bag this was the biggest harvest look at how fat this turmeric is look at the size of this turmeric guys this is beautiful healthy delicious turmeric that i didn't have to buy just from planting a few knobs I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some pieces of turmeric and ginger throughout the garden and in my garden bed. Guys, I can never have too much ginger and turmeric. I absolutely love it. Plus, the turmeric is an absolutely beautiful plant. It's just going to look like a decorative plant in the garden. So, I think I'm going to still put some in, back in pot, but I'm going to add some to my raised bed. And I'm going to add pieces of turmeric and ginger throughout my garden. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this encouraged you to go on out there, plant a seed, plant some turmeric, plant some ginger, plant some papaya seeds, plant a piece of cassava, guys. Just get out there, guys. Let's plant something today. Till next time, guys. Bye now.